everyone what's going on a whole lot of stuff going on right now but I want to make a quick video about this story we got in the mainstream media of Mick Jagger supposedly having to seek medical treatment and the Rolling Stones are postponing their tour what's so interesting about this story is that back in February I talked about the song paint it black and also the Rolling Stones in regards to all of the blackface stuff that was going on in Virginia. You had the Ralph Northam guy who painted himself black, and then you also had, I can't remember what the other guy's name was, the Attorney General. He also came in the mainstream media because he painted himself black at one point as Curtis Blow. And then we also got the Justin Fairfax story who was also out of Virginia, and he played for Duke, and it was super synced up to this NCAA tournament that's coming up. And that's why Zion Williamson, his shoe blew out. Because what I was talking about with the Ralph Northam blackface story, and think about this with Paint It Black, Paint It Black. I was talking about how Little Bow Wow was also in the media this very same day, and it was connected to the movie like mike where his at the end of the movie his shoe even blows out right and he's wearing the michael jordans zion williamson's shoe blew out against north carolina michael jordan's old team and so on but i said possibly we're going to get a story connected to it with the rapper curtis blow because that movie like mike the little Bow Wow remix that song called Basketball by Curtis Blow. And then, what, like a week later, we had the other guy from Virginia who did blackface like Curtis Blow. Also, the reason that Mick Jagger and the Rolling Stones were important was because that blackface stuff happened right around the time of the Super Bowl. And if you remember, the halftime show had the band Maroon 5. And they are famous, or they have that famous song called Moves Like Jagger, or, you know, Moves Like Jagger, and there was even rumors that he was going to come out and perform with them during the halftime show. So now think about it. So Mick Jagger, the story comes in the mainstream media about him on the date of 3.30, which was Saturday, which was the same day the Virginia Cavaliers beat the Purdue Boilermakers to move on to the Final Four. And now they're going to play Auburn, which is interesting in regards to the color maroon even. Maroon is a, can be a reddish-brown color, just like Auburn can be a reddish, it's a reddish-brown color, you know. So just interesting for that. But, you know, just think about it. Paint it black, Virginia Cavaliers advance to the Final Four. It's all connected to the Super Bowl and Maroon 5. and. If you go from the Super Bowl to the day of the story, it's 55 days. And if you go from the story to Mick Jagger's birthday, it's 118 days. And in the language of Gematria, which is used every day to script our mainstream media, you can check out some links in the description. If you write out Maroon 5, it equals 55 and also the big way 118. So what a perfect day for a story of Mick Jagger to come out, you know, synced up to the Super Bowl, 55 days after the Super Bowl, like Maroon 5, and 118 days before his birthday, like Maroon 5. Remember the Patriots won the Super Bowl too. Patriots equal 118. Let me put it in here for you. Patriots equal 118, and so does Tom Brady. Tom Brady equals 118. Also, if you read out blackface, blackface equals 55, right? 55 and 118. Look at paint it black. Paint it black. Paint it black equals 118, right? What are the odds? Blackface, 55. Paint it black, 118. Synced up to his birthday. Synced up to the Super Bowl. Look at Virginia. Virginia equals 55. He wins the same day as Virginia that's connected to the blackface stuff, right? Paint it black. Look at Virginia Cavaliers. Virginia Cavaliers, 118. Oh, the odds. 
Also, what's interesting is that if you look up the song Moves Like Jagger, the single released on June 21st of 2011, and if you go from the day of this Mick Jagger story to the anniversary of the single coming out, it's 84 days. And if you write out Moves Like Jagger, it equals 84. And if you write out Mick Jagger, it equals 84. So it's absolutely synced up to this song, Moves Like Jagger, the Super Bowl, and also the College Basketball Championship. And I mean, if you don't believe me, just, just pay attention. Learn this system and just watch some of these games. Like today we had the Duke lost the same weekend, right? Duke was synced up to him. Duke lost with 67 points today. 67. You know what Duke equals in Gematria? Duke equals 67. And if you watch this game, there was a, um, you know, the ball went out of bounds with 8.4 seconds left. And then Duke got the ball and they brought it in. And then you knew the guy was going to miss the free throw. There didn't seem like to be a scenario for it to go 68 to 68 because there wasn't really any big connections in the 70s, which would have happened in overtime. And then, of course, he misses the first free throw and makes the second one, giving Duke 67 to lose on their number. And today even had a date numerology of 19, which is the 19th prime number is 67. And it, the date is 331. And the 67th prime number is... 331 but this 8.4 seconds was also important because michigan state spartans equal 84 in gematria so think about two just we'll just do another quick example here during maroon 5's performance they had spongebob come out and perform right spun they did a little clip of spongebob blown the trumpets and it was from the 35th episode of spongebob and it aired just before 9 11 and 2001 right just before tom brady came out of nowhere they had the patriot act and the patriots went on to win the super bowl but it was the 35th episode of spongebob and it was supposed to be a tribute to the death of the spongebob creator St steven hillenberg and he died Three months and five days before his birthday. Three months and five days before his birthday. This was the 35th episode. And he also died on the day that leaves 35 days in the year. And when you go watch this episode called Sweet Victory, they focus in on the number 35 of this person in the crowd. They show this number more than any other number in that video. 35. So they're coming. it's coming out of the 35th episode. Tom Brady also equals 35. And then, you know, of course, he goes on to win the Super Bowl. SpongeBob equals 41, just like Super Bowl, just like Adam Levine. You know, the game was sealed on a 41-year-old, 41-year, I can't even talk, 41-yard field goal. It's just ridiculous, so... You know, this is how the media works. They put these stories that are all synced up together. And if you pay enough attention, you can see what they are doing with these stories and why we get certain stories at certain times within the mainstream media. So, got a lot of other interesting stuff to talk about tonight and I want to get through. So, I'm going to end this video here. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on. You know, but I'll, I'll, I'll leave it for other videos. So have a good one. Peace.